the Model Horse YouTube community is dead. Or rather, dying. I mean, people are still uploading videos. Every now and then you'll have a collection tour or an unboxing video. But things aren't nearly as active as they were when I was, say, 13 or 14. Even 16 or 17, it felt like the Model Horse YouTube community was thriving. On the film side of things, you have the fact that series now take longer to produce. People are paying more attention to production quality versus when we were kids, we just went out with a camera and our horses and made stuff up on the spot. Ultimately, people are paying more attention to the quality of a product now because they feel like that's what they have to do to make something worthwhile. And so just in the film space, you have a lot of people feeling shut down, intimidated. They're scared to take that first step towards making their series because it's daunting. I can only assume the same thing is happening on the YouTube side of things. I think what's happening is something that's happening to all of society, and that's post-quarantine burnout, blues, depression, whatever you want to call it. Quarantine did something to our society that is having effects across the board. I myself have struggled with motivation post quarantine and even just getting out of bed feels increasingly more and more difficult. And to be honest, in my case, I'm not even sure that it has anything to do with post quarantine. Maybe I just peaked in college and now that I've graduated, well, I'm floundering because I don't really know what to do. In high school, things were rough. And in college when things got rough, I at least had hopes and dreams to look forward to. And that was working in film. But having worked in film the little bit I have, I've come to realize that the film industry isn't any different than any other industry in terms of the social work politics. The biggest difference is you work god-awful hours for god-awful pay. So maybe that's the big difference for me. Maybe I had dreams and now I don't. Maybe through all of the harder times in my life I had dreams and so it was really easy to make films because that was my escape. But now it's become my life. Making video content is my life, it's my career. And it's the same thing that happens to any YouTuber, right? When they make YouTube their full career and it's no longer a hobby, every single YouTuber faces what's called burnout. So that's why I think it's really important to let yourself feel the burnout, to let yourself feel the thing that you're feeling. And that's what I've done really the past year. I let myself feel the feeling, hoping that things would work out on their own but they haven't. So that's why I'm here today. In 2023, I wanna get back to making videos like I did when I was a kid. Videos that inspire me, videos that I'm excited to do. I think a big reason that Model Horse YouTubers burn out or don't post as much content is because frankly, there isn't a whole lot of content to post. Again, it's collection tours or unboxing. And there's only so many collection tours someone can film or watch till they're blue in the face. So the videos I wanna make won't necessarily be Model Horse related. Some of them will, I definitely plan on doing a collection tour since I've never actually done one on my channel. And I have some fun ideas that I haven't seen anybody else do yet that I definitely intend on doing. Ultimately, I just want to get back to making content that's 100% for me. Not something I'm worried about doing well in the algorithm. Not something that I'm like, yeah, this will get my monetization back. Just fun, stupid videos. And maybe a serious video if I feel so inclined. I want to talk about things that matter to me. I want to post stupid shit posts if I feel like it. I honestly just want to upload whatever I want. That being said though, I am aiming for consistency. It is extremely hard for me to sit down and dedicate time to something I enjoy. Instead, I end up doom scrolling on my phone, then I feel guilty for wasting my time, then I feel like I can't dedicate any time to the things that I want to do that I would enjoy, and then I feel guilty for not working if I do those things, and then because I feel guilty about not working, then I'm back on Instagram or back on TikTok or back on YouTube, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling endlessly. And it's a cycle I wanna break. So that means holding myself accountable. And if you're somebody who's stuck in a similar situation to me where you feel like you're doom scrolling all the time and you just can't break out of this cycle, I want us to hold each other accountable. Make that video you've been wanting to make. I don't care if you haven't uploaded a video in years. I don't care if you uploaded a video last week. I don't care if you've never uploaded a video. Make the thing, do the thing that you really wanna do. Because the hardest part is just getting started. And please, if you make that video, if you make that thing, send it to me. That way I have engaging and inspiring content to watch and I can also promote the shit out of you on my Instagram because you know your girl will, your girl will. So those are my goals for this year. We'll see how it goes. I hope you guys have a wonderful 2023. See you guys soon.